Holy shit, this movie is hard to watch. Now I knew nothing about this movie going into it, all I had was the trailer that I could make assumptions from, but I had no idea what the movie was actually about. And because I came out of this movie having thoroughly enjoyed it, I don't want to ruin that experience for you. So I'm just going to give you a short description as to what the movie is about, so I don't spoil anything major for you, so you can go into the movie the way I did. So Room stars Brie Larson and Jacob Tremblay. In this movie, Brie Larson plays Ma and Jacob Tremblay plays her son, Jack and they both live in a 10 square foot room. Now to Jack, this is all he knows. This is the world to him. He knows nothing of the outside world. To him, the outside world is as intangible as heaven. But to Brie Larson's character of Ma, this is the prison cell she has known for seven years, since she was kidnapped at the age of 19 by a man who has continuously raped her and fathered Jack. But despite all the pain that she is going through, she tries to keep these hard realities away from Jack. She tries to keep his innocence pure. And this is where the movie takes a heartbreaking turn, as you see Brie Larson trying to keep the hard realities of life away from her son. Now Brie Larson in this movie gives an outstanding performance. She is astonishing. Her performance is so raw, it's almost unwatchable. She conveys so much pain through her eyes alone that you find it too upsetting to just sit there and watch this. Her entire world on the inside is broken, but her entire world on the outside being her son, being her family, and the possibility of her escaping this hell is the only thing that keeps her going. And holy shit, we have to talk about the kid in this movie. Jacob Tremblay gives one of the best child performances in a movie I have ever seen. This kid is phenomenal. He's got a bright future ahead of him after his role in this movie. As this movie drags you further and further into darkness, you see Jack's world cracking open as he realises that there is a whole new world out there, and that just gives you that little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. I also have to talk about the direction in this movie. Lenny Abrahamson, who directed Frank, which was another surprise movie for me, I really enjoyed it, delivers another astonishing film. He tells the story so well that it takes you to places that you thought were even unimaginable. And although heartbreaking, and although very difficult to watch at times due to Brie Larson's performance, when the movie ends you will want to watch it again. The only problem I had, and it's not with the movie, it was with the trailer. If I recommend this movie to you, I recommend that you don't see the trailer as it gives a fair amount of the plot away. But other than that, Room is an astonishing movie. It is very, very well directed. The storytelling is great. Brie Larson gives a performance that is so good it breaks your heart. And Jacob Tremblay, well done to you. You were phenomenal in this movie. I can't wait to see you in more things in the years to come. It can be a little bit difficult to watch at times and for that I'm going to give Room four stars. So that's my review of Room, which will be released in cinemas on the 15th of January. I really recommend that you guys check this out. If you do, let me know what you thought of the movie in the comment section below. Thanks ever so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with your friends, it helps my channel out a lot. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.